feel as though you're part of something very special because of the history and the nature of it. It's something not many people get to take part in. It's very unique. It's a very unique race, a very unique experience. Uh, and it changes you. You speak to any of the alumni, they will remember their time and it's had a big impact on them. And just to know that you're one in that line of, of strong, passionate, committed women who want to go out there and want to fight for Cambridge and want to fight against Oxford, it just gives you such a buzz. I mean, you've got guys racing at the Olympics and you'll say to them, what was the turning point in your career? And they will all say, it was the boat race. The aim is really to squeeze out every bit of potential we can from the people that come here. You know, as a coach, that's the really exciting part, is you take all these girls who are so different in their personalities, from different backgrounds, and try and help them to find their own way to be as good as they can be. Cambridge is really one of the only places where you can simultaneously excel at rowing and in academia, and I think that's really, really special. We have guys that started rowing in Cambridge, we have guys that have been to the Olympics um, and there's a really eclectic mix and I think that the structure that we provide with the, uh, with the rowing programme helps the discipline of the scholastic programme as well. Girls who want to take their rowing a step further, the experience they'll get at Cambridge will be unlike any other university in the world. I definitely wouldn't be anywhere near the Olympic team without, without Cambridge because it's the best university in the world. You can't describe how much it means to be able to line up against Oxford each year. It's a very privileged position to be in. Uh, it, there's not many events like it. I mean, it's just um, this sort of gladiatorial battle between two clubs. You know, it, it's, it's, it's sort of good versus evil, I always think. This whole one-on-one -on -one grudge match over a long, choppy, twisty stretch of river. Uh, so it's, it's pretty dramatic. In the boat race, your Oxford versus Cambridge, one crew will spend six months training and will win and they'll feel amazing. The other crew will spend six months training and they'll fall short and that is the toughest way to learn something about yourself. Oxford, Cambridge, feeling your straight and ready. And start you, attention, go, get ready please. Winning is just amazing. You feel so alive. Um, yeah. <laughs> Winning that boat race when we were second favourites was the best moment of my sporting life to date. And they have given everything. They have spent, but they have lost. So they have nothing. If anyone asks me to name one thing that has changed my life as a result of coming to Cambridge, it would, without a doubt, be rowing. We've got a real vision for how Cambridge University rowing is going to move into the future, um, not just at a high performance level, but also to be able to help develop Oarswomen and Oarswomen and, and future coxswains um, to achieve their potential. Still a sense of passion about sport and you know, desire to commit to whatever it is I'm doing at any point in time. And I think that's what they do, and that's the challenge of the race. It's an absolutely unique place and to have missed out on it, I can't imagine. I, it would be, I don't know, my life has changed forever just because I made one decision to come here and I would hate to know what it was like without that. I think CUWBC gave me the belief about what I could achieve. They had lit the spark and helped me love this sport. I'm ready for taking up challenges and I feel that I'm, I'm capable of going out and, and making a difference wherever I go and I think that's, that's very much about what you do as an individual here. Across the generations there have been so many uh, boat race alumni who have gone on to achieve great things and build great careers after the boat race. Uh, and they're not just willing, they want to help us follow in their footsteps and achieve great things. Being a Cambridge rower is, is a passport to the world. Uh, I mean, what more, what more can you ask for? <laughs> 
and you realise the winning and the losing, it's kind of the smallest part of the whole picture. And actually that pride of sitting on the start line, wearing light blue, looking across at Oxford, that's the important part.